Um, yeah, I'm not sure this was the best game uh, to watch. Not a whole lot of quality from either team um, as far as passing goes, combination goes. Um, a lot of second balls, uh, a lot of battles, a lot of set pieces. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what uh, our opponent Colorado wanted. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't turn the game into a game that um, favors us, which is, like I explained, with passes, with co combinations, uh, more possession. Um, I thought we started very well in the first 25 minutes, create a few chances. And I think if we continue down that path, then um, uh, I think we have a great chance of winning the game. Uh, but we uh, got knocked off our rhythm. And um, I guess credit to Colorado. They were able to fight their way back in the game, slow the game down, slow the pace of the game down. And um, we couldn't find our, our rhythm with the ball again. Um, but compliment to the boys. They fought hard and uh, defended well and uh, kept a clean sheet on the road and took a point with us. So that's uh, always good in this league. We'll go to Seth Hoffman. questions? Go ahead, uh, JR, with your question. No, uh, but just Steve, if you could just talk about the way the team has uh, come together uh, with after this match, looking for the Champions League now, how do you see the team just uh, kind of regrouping for uh, Wednesday? Fine. Um... Will recover physically, uh, no injuries. So uh, I think we have a couple of days to recover and prepare for Vancouver. Um, you know this rhythm of uh, midweek games. Uh, we had a taste of it in uh, the first round of the Champions League, uh, which I think the players um, enjoyed and did very well. And uh, we expect the same. From the first, uh, you know, Colorado uh, ended up having ten quarters on the night. And you know, with two separate semis, Takers as opposed to normally Jack Prices as their guy. Um, how do you think the team managed to defend, you know, the, the pen and um, just yeah? How did we defend set pieces? Is that your yeah. question? Like it's um we have a clear way of defending set pieces. Um it's kind of a hybrid form, some man marking, some zonal. Um, and then it just comes down to guys um uh, understanding. You know, being aware, where is my opponent? If I'm a man marker, where's the ball in relation to the goal? Where are my teammates? I thought the guys did a pretty good job um, of at least getting body contact on Colorado attackers um, when we couldn't clear the ball. Um, but look, it's, a, it's a strength of Colorado and to keep them off the scoring board with that many set pieces is obviously um, a plus for us tonight. But um, this was also a strength of ours last year. So uh, nothing surprising to me. Yeah. Do you think this game, if it would have been scheduled in September, there would have been a different result? I don't know. Uh, it's hypothetical. We played tonight. Um, we couldn't perform better with the ball, which is why we only tied, but our defensive performance was fine. Steve, you mentioned 25 minutes into the half. You felt like the game really changed. That first 25 minutes, you guys had anywhere from 75 to 90 percent possession. What do you feel like was that change that happened that Colorado put you off your, your game? Mm, I think it was a little fatigue on our end. Um, um, and then just carelessness with the ball. I think not pressing and not continuing um, uh, to connect with smaller passes, making Colorado drop into a deeper formation and stay compact. I think we played too many long ones in that moment. Um, I think our possession and then our counter press when we did lose the ball wasn't good enough to keep them pinned in. And um, we did allow them to come out a little bit. So um, I think those contributed to Colorado getting more possession. Uh, and we'll look at it again and, and get, improve. Okay thank, you very much. okay, thank you. Have a good night.